The creators of Throne Room Reviews would like to say that this is a fan-made show. We do not own any of the copyrighted material used within the episode. All copyrighted material belongs to their respected owners. Any copyright infringement is non-intentional. This message has been brought to you by Plan 12 Entertainment. Hi friends and welcome to Throne Room Reviews. Well, after 10 episodes of Thomas and Friends, we have our first episode that features James as the main character. So this one should be interesting. The episode is James in the Dark. That sounds like the title of another genre, but I think you can make the joke for me. Anyway, opera singer Alicia Botti is going to make yet another evening performance and the Fat Controller tasks James with the quote-unquote special to take Miss Botty, the Mayor of Sodor, I refer you back to my comment in my Jumping Joby Wood review about him, and the Sodor Brass Band to the concert. As it's getting dark, James needs a lamp. However, the only one that the Steamworks has at its disposal is one from a vintage car. Why they have that, I do not know. Though in Race to the Rescue, Flynn has his wheels checked in the steamworks. However, I cannot let that one slide either. Also, surely the sheds would have a lamp or two spare. Anyway, James refuses to have the lamp fitted to him because he thinks it looks silly and decides to go without it, even though lamps are necessary to railways and he, his driver and fireman should have known that. Over the course of the evening, James is unable to recognise engines and stations, so picks up Farmer McCall, Farmer Trotter and their animals instead of the proper guests. Though both farmers should have known better than to board James's train. After realising his mistake, Thomas arrives with a workman and the car lamp. A bit convenient, don't you think? However, even with the lamp fitted, James will not be able to sort out the mistakes he's made in time. But Edward arrives, also another convenience. So James has the idea of sorting out the farmers while Thomas and Edward pick up the guests. So the evening ends with James arriving and watching Alicia Botti sing, though she should be inside the building, and also uses his lamp to help light the stage. But it seems to have no knock-on effect given that there is already a spotlight on Miss Botti. I don't know what to say about this episode. All I can think is that Mark Robertson used the cliché mistake someone for someone else in the dark as his main plot. I know it's a children's program, but couldn't we have a crash? Like James doesn't see a signal properly and runs into a siding? All I ask for is for some originality. I'd say this episode is harmless like many we've witnessed, but those little mistakes in logic add up, so I don't feel satisfied in giving it even that. This is King William saying, hope to see you soon on another Throne Room Review.